Hi, everyone. Welcome to the SOMCZ Marketing and Events LLC YouTube channel. It is Marketing Monday. Woo -woo. We have our very own Donella. And normally when I introduce her, I always say the visionary. But today we're going to do it a little different because she's taking on a new task and that's weight loss fitness, all those good things. And that's still a part of your vision. That's a part of being a visionary. That's a part, health is always a part of making yourself great. So I would like to introduce to you, Donella. Donella, tell them a little bit about you and what you do, um, who you are. And I want you to really kind of key in on your fitness today. I want you to key in on your products. Um, and then we'll go into the visionary part. Okay. Hello, everyone. As Nakisha said, my name is Donella, and I um, was known as notoriously Nella the Visionary, um, which is still my baby, but I moved on to weight loss, weight management, and more so of, you know, being healthy and active and incorporating fitness in it. Um, because I, in March of 2020, I became a distributor for uh, Tava products, which are weight loss products. Um, we also have vitamins, detox teas, as well as energy boosters. And all the products are made from natural products. So it's not anything in there that could be harmful to anyone. Um, so I started using those products to help me lose some weight because I wasn't like how I was looking. I didn't like how I was feeling. And I, still, I started using the products. And when I saw a small, small, when I say small, a small change, like I lost five pounds in one week, I say, okay, well, if I incorporate exercise and healthier eating with this, I can really see the change that I want to see. And I definitely, you know, saw the change. So that just took off. So that's a whole nother adventure I started in that I am totally in love with, like, because after our interview, I'm going to get my workout in for the day because I didn't get it this morning. So I'm definitely going to get it in this afternoon. And she actually, y'all, she do some hilarious videos. So if you, if you not following her, I need you to start following her because listen, she be off the chain. She be of all time of night doing crazy stuff. But um, also I want you to go ahead and tell them about who you are as a visionary and what brought you to this place. Okay, as a visionary, listen, I always believe that you can see things that's going to happen. And, it, you know, in your life, and you just you just have to work to get there. And so as a visionary, I take those, those mental pictures that we have and help, you know, you put it into tangible pictures and so that you can actually see it. Because a lot of times we set goals, especially, you know, New Year's resolutions for ourselves. Sometimes weekly goals, monthly goals, or daily goals. But if we, we say it in our mind, oh, I'm going to get this done, or I'm going to do this, or, I'm going to stop drinking sodas, whatever it may be, something small as that, or I'm going to pay off my student loans. <laughs> you know, we say something like that, but if we don't see it, it's, it's gone. The next day, you done drink a Pepsi, and the next day, that student loan money you done spent on buying some bundles or something you probably don't even need, like clothes, which is kind of my problem. I'm, clothes and shoes but nothing they here knows there <laughs> um <laughs> my, my problem is food and soda oh mm -mm. mm -mm. i can't lose <laughs> <laughs> she can accuse you give me every time okay so yeah like <laughs> so with the vision um with like vis the visionary and it's just motivating people to, you know, accomplish your dreams. And nothing is unachievable. Um, nothing is out of reach. It may seem, it may take a process. It may take some time. It may even take some years for you to accomplish your goal. But you could definitely do it because you see people that's doing it every day. You know, some of our favorite celebrities was in situations similar, similar to us. You know, some of them were homeless. Some of them, you know, was working dead-end jobs. And they decided to take that that leap of faith and follow their vision. So that's what I mostly do. You know, just post, promote that and push that on people. Because sometimes we just need words of encouragement. And we just need to know how to execute our plan to the end to reach that vision and that goal. And we also need to know how to have fun. See, that's All my day. Every day. That's my in life. <laughs> 
having fun. Listen, I, I one time it was being a mama and being a boss and all of these things. And now it's, uh, listen, I'm going to do all of those things, but I'm going to have a good time too. And that's why I love watching you because I'm like, this girl right here is a fool. You hear me? But at the same time, as you're watching you, you're watching you promote yourself. So that is you being, that's one of the things I talked about today at an um, event I spoke at. You being you, being authentic, being who you are. And that's you. You didn't change up who you were when promoting your business to be something else. You took your natural self, your goofiness, your all of that. And where she get all these clothes from y'all to do all this stuff from back in the day? Who knows? But anyway... <laughs> She, she took who she was. <laughs> <laughs> that I should she be paying off debt. Yes. She took who she was and actually turned it into something that can take her far because she didn't change her who she was. She didn't change how she act. She didn't do any of those things. She incorporated it into her business. And that's what I love. And that's why I wanted you to speak on your fitness because I think that fitness part, I know, I don't know whether you got instructor in your um, next venture, but I think that would be amazing, amazing um, new job venture for you, new business, because you would be, if you was near me, I would have hired you because my whole thing is my mind is not allowing me to. It's not that I don't want to lose weight. It's not that I don't want to stop drinking soda. <laughs> but at one time, I was going in nine rounds. And so that was my motivation because the lady there was motivating. She um kept me intact. She kept me together. So now I don't have that. And I can watch people online. But if you're not near me to actually push me and drive me, I'm just that person. That's what I need. That's why the military was good to me. Because I had no choice in the military. You get what I'm saying? So, but if you were near me, you would be my instructor because you make it fun. And it don't, even no matter how much out of breath I am, I'm going to keep going because you it's fun. You're having fun. And a lot of times when you have fun, you don't realize what all you've done until you start feeling the pain all over your body. <laughs> right. <laughs> and so, that's what I, um, and, that's what I incorporate in because I'm like you say, I am naturally just a funny person. Like, listen, right. with everything going on in the world, like you have to laugh and sometimes you have to laugh to avoid crying. I'm also a crybaby too. So if I'm not laughing, I'm crying. <laughs> So I'm a thug. Real... <laughs> Listen, straight I dot, you, I dot you in your eye and cry afterwards because I didn't need something I had no business. But it's okay though. Right. You ain't cry. <laughs> so it's like I'm I'm we're gonna laugh and enjoy it. Like and I'm gonna be authentically me because I have mastered who I am. I can't try to be Nakisha because that's not me. I can't right. try to be Sarah. That's not me. Why am I going to try and maybe and fail at being someone else when I could just be me and incorporate that into my business? You're going to get that. If I'm motivating you, and it may be something not even to do with fitness, we're going to laugh about we gonna It's going to, we're going to find a joke in there. We're going to laugh. When it comes to working out, we're going to laugh. We're going to make a joke. And I have people that I've, you know, been working out with it, um, locally and they were like, when whenever you don't work out with us, we feel like we don't get a you know we don't get enough done or you know you make it fun, you make it enjoyable, and I'm like, thank you, you know, but it's just because that's just me. Like even when I work out at home by myself, like I'm gonna make it fun. I'm gonna do something throughout it to make it fun. I started um I was clicking on something with resistant bands because I you know was working out with resistant bands and it was an African dance came up and they nice. say. We think we be dancing. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. We ain't got nothing on them over there. Because that lady, had that African dance, I was like, well, what is this? I'm like, I done learn moves, done burn some calories, done work out and close my exercise ring on my Apple Watch. Listen, I'm good. So, and it was like, I'll make sure that I get one, even if I work out 5.30 in the morning or if I'm working out at 8, 9 o'clock at night, I always make sure that I get a workout in that I enjoy and I can laugh through and. I will, re and I'll record, and one time I was like, I'm recording so much and posting so much on Facebook, people probably going to be tired of me, but then I have some people like, listen, your vo your videos, they keep me going, like, I done started working out, I done stopped drinking sodas, you know, they're like, you you keep me going, you keep me laughing, it's, it's motivating me, so I'm like, okay, well, I'll record some of the video, you know, some of it, 
and post, but we gonna have fun when we working out and we still gonna build these muscles and burn these calories because baby, 2021. So that's why you that's why you need to move on to Columbia. Like I don't know what you're waiting for. Cause see, my weight ain't going nowhere until you move. Like I just don't get it. Listen, I don't understand okay. the problem. I'll plan, you know, a couple of weekends and, and we can see, you know, we can we can do some workouts in Columbia. I'll go over there and work out. I definitely will. Like I will travel and work out. And that's where I know I'm gonna have to book my coaching session so that once I start moving into building it as a more of a brand um and learning as much as I can because that's why I say I don't slap that word fitness trainer on the end of my name because it is so much that it incorporates with it. But I don't mind, you know, somebody wanna say, hey, I wanna book you to come and kind of help me work out. Listen, we could do that, but now I'm, I'm building that brand. So you better get me now for the low, cause baby, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You heard what I told. Listen, you heard what I told them about my course. Listen, you better get in the first course because the first course is only one twenty five. Now, listen, I'm telling you, twenty 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 one. I'm finna to take it up a notch, so you ain't gonna get no one twenty five course. So you better get in this four week course and learn everything you need to learn about business for one hundred and twenty five dollars. And you ain't gotta take another class because I'm gonna give you everything you need. It's gonna be recorded. But listen. Baby, like you said, 2021, you're going to be paying 500 for this course because it's too much knowledge. I didn't have to work too hard to get all this stuff up in this big old head of mine. So if I'm giving it out, you're going ha- to have to do what you do. You're going to have to put coins to it because if you go to anybody else, you're going to pay that much. So, but I need you to go ahead and get yourself together for the be instructor for 2021. Thank you. I just gave you that next task. See how that works? Every time we get on the talk, I don't need to go. <laughs> Okay, so I want them you to tell them how to follow you, um, how to get in contact with you, all of those good things that they need to know to be able to see your workouts, to be able to see um, what you sell, to be able to book you. Um, she also is a motivational speaker, so book her for motivational speaking. Book her for your next event. All of those good things, that's how we actually met. So... Um, and she was off the chain at that too. She was just as crazy as all I can get out of those. She was speaking some good stuff, but she was laughing the whole time. But, um, so give them all the information they need to get in contact with you and, um, how to reach you. Okay. You could definitely follow my personal page, Donella Shanae Parsons, D-O-N-E-L-L-A Parsons on Facebook. Also my Notoriously Nella um, Facebook page. That's my business page. Um, I'm on Instagram at my notor is underscore notoriously Nella on Instagram, dangerously underscore intelligent on Instagram as well. Um, and you can, I post about the products I have. I'm always running sales, um, posting videos and just giving out, you know, knowledge and nuggets and motivational tips for everyone. So you could definitely reach me on there. And also my inbox, you could definitely inbox me. It doesn't matter. Like now I go to sleep early because I work out and I be tired. But when I get up in the morning, I do respond to messages. Um, I respond throughout the day. So you can send me an inbox, even if we're not friends on Facebook. Um, and you because some people have Messenger, but they don't have Facebook. I will see it. I do make sure I check those, you know, the ones that go in the private folder. I do check right. those as well to make sure that I reach out, reach back to everyone. So follow, but the best way to contact me is Facebook, Donella Shanae Parsons on my personal page. Um, and you find all about my life. Okay. And before we end this, we're going to talk about, we're going to end it with talking about um, marketing and branding yourself and also networking. That's going to be our main topic, networking, because the reason why we're going to talk about networking right quick, because that's how we met. So I mm-hmm. want people to understand that it's okay to um, have your circle of people that you feel support you, but it's better to get out um, and network with people so you can be able to be known worldwide. So you can be known in different areas so that when you do good by somebody in another area, they can talk about you and they can get you people in other areas. And when we met, that's what we did for each other. 
So we want to we're going to talk a little bit about networking. We're going to go back and tell a little bit of our story and how we became friends and how we became business buddies or whatever you want to call it <laughs> and how we just connected all through networking and how we help each other meet other people and meet new people and all of those things because a lot of people don't understand how important networking is and this is a this is actually a form of networking because I'm going to actually be interviewing a lot of people that I never really met in person they just been Facebook buddies. They've been my Facebook friends. They've been my Facebook business partners. They've been my Facebook supporters. Um, so I'm actually getting the chance to meet them by doing Marketing Monday, Monday's videos on my YouTube. So this is exciting for me because although I've met you <laughs> and I've hung out with you and we've done all these great things together and events together and we're still doing events together, um, I haven't met a lot of people. I just, on social media, you would think we know them because we forever posting, we're sharing their stuff, we're telling them we're praying for them, we're talking to their kids, because we we really became a family on Facebook, but in actuality, we haven't seen each other, have never met in person. Um, but for me and you, we met through networking, and it literally took it where you took me to your hometown, and you connected me with other people, and we became one big family. And it's actually a couple of us that joined together <laughs> and did an event. And women that had never known each other joined yes. together. We met at networking events. We became one, and we actually um, put on our first event last December. And we got to get together and talk about that because although COVID came, we can do a Zoom event. Do so, we right? Yes. Networking is very important. It's a if your network determines your net worth because a lot of time, and what I had to learn, especially when I started in the Taurus, you know, I'm like, why my friends not buying tickets to my, you know, to my vision board workshop, or why did not share my stuff? And it's no disrespect to you know anybody who I knew from kindergarten or way back when, but a lot of those people are not your target audience. They're not your they're not your target customers. They're not your target consumers. So hey, they may want they say okay hey yeah definitely go support my friend, but if it's not for them, they're not going to get it. So a lot of I have booked uh, vision board workshops for people who I've met at other events. I've sold you know, tea to um, detox teas or weight management products to people who I'm not even friends with on social media. I remember uh, I posted a sale and this was like when I first started and when you got yours, your waist bead and you was like, oh yeah, y'all hit down that up. And that weekend, I all my sales were from people that I was not friends with on social media, but I look at it and I was like, it was like a couple of mutual friends, Nakisha. I was like, Nakisha sent you people, you know? So it's just getting out there and networking with people. I need some more. Listen, I got you. You know, I, I had you. lost a little bit of inches and it had, you know, dropped. So I cut them off. <laughs> See, no, no, you, you is totally I'm wrong. excited about them five pounds. Oh, yeah, and so I it's lost no more after this. I, I'm gonna do better. I'm gonna do better doing I'm gonna get you time. right. I'm gonna get you right. So it's definitely, you know, and it's okay with you being in a room where you don't know anybody or where you don't even look like anybody. Right. Most times when I go to events, I, I rarely I rarely know anyone. Last year I went to an event in Charlotte. I did not know anybody at the event. I saw it on Facebook. Let me tell y'all. Facebook may have their drama and all that, but see, I don't entertain that. So that don't come across my timeline, but a networking right. event, um, clothes stuff be coming up. Cause I'm always shopping and looking online and stuff be coming up. I see so much more fitness stuff come up on Facebook. You know, the algorithm, y- y'all know these phones be listening to how we be talking. So right. I've seen, I've, I found an event. It was like one o'clock in the morning and I found this event on Facebook and I was like oh I want to go and like I called my sister and my auntie I'm like y'all I found this event I want to go and they was like okay we'll talk to you tomorrow about it <laughs> and you know and I was the only person I me and my sister and my aunt and my mom went and I was we were the only people that knew each, each other at the event but I met other people and was able to network with other people and that was in Charlotte so it's okay to go places and you don't need a whole team you do right. not need a team to go with you because what I've noticed and what I've learned is you will build a team along the way. Right. And, but you have to take that first step and get out there and say, hey, I'm going to this event. Or, you know, a lot of stuff now is Zoom. I'm going to be on a Zoom call. 
So, you know, tell the kids, you got to put take the kids to your mama house or you got to put them in room or you got to go sit in your car and do the Zoom event. Because plenty of times, I, the last one we had, I was sitting in the car, I'm like, I'm doing another event, but I came and sit in the car and do this right here. And I'm right. like, you got to go sit in your car. You got to do whatever you have to do to uh, network and reach out to other people. Then you do that and never be afraid. You know, just putting out, hey, this is what I offer. This is my product, this and this and that. And I see that you do this. Would you like to team up and do something like this? All they could tell you is, yeah, no. My aunt said, they can't take your name from you. They can't take your birthday. And I was like, you're right. right. You're right. right. If I got to get 10 no's till I can get my, when I get to 11th person, I get a yes. Baby, them no's don't mean nothing. That just helped me just build tougher skin. So the next right. time somebody else tell me, no, I'm like, oh, that ain't nothing. Don't worry about it because my yes is coming. Exactly. Got me on here motivating and stuff. That's, that's, what it's like. <laughs> that's the whole point. That's the so whole definitely point. network. And also, and I, I, I say this all the time, because a lot of us, a lot of us, you know, we have kids, we have husbands or wives. I'm a single parent and I have two small boys. Well, they're, they're not small, but 11 and nine. I let my babies help me so that they can see what mom is doing. So when we have events, I see a lot of times people say, oh, but I got my baby. Bring your baby. Why your baby can't come? When it's time to bag tea, like I have a bag of tea right here and I'm getting ready to ship out. My babies, y'all put seven T's in the bag. Why, why they can't do that? They could get on these games and play these games so they could put seven T's in the bag. I type up this stuff when it prints out. Y'all put these labels on these bags. Y'all, let's, let, we got to go to, we got to go to put these, ma- these T's in the mailbox, put the flag up, or we got to go to the post office. Y'all put them in the drop box. Let your babies help so that way they can see what, what mama or daddy is doing and it's going to be in them. So don't don't use it as an excuse as to why you can't get it done. When I have events, and you see that my babies be there, they are there setting up. I have we have matching shirts. They they're setting up. They walk in the room. They work in the room. Cause when people say, they're like, oh, they're so handsome. What now? What's what table you with? And they said, oh, my mama, she got the sunflowers. And they say, I know somebody over there. Oh, my mama, she got the teas, and they over there. So let your kids be a part of your business. And then, you know, especially once you start making, when you start really getting into it now, because, you know, what I learned from Javon, you them kids is a little tax right off, you know, a little business stuff, but we ain't, that ain't my, that ain't my territory. So I ain't hey, right, right, you know, right. I'm going to do that, but, and hire your kids to work for you. And that's what I do. My, because well, my kids like to go out and they like to eat like their mama and they like shrimp and steak like their mama. So hey, you got your little money so you can pay for your own steak and shrimp because your mama got her money for her. You know, right. so don't yeah. don't use that excuse. Let these kids come to unless it's a, a no kids event, which I try not to go to those because my kids are with me. Everywhere. Bring those kids. Everywhere. <laughs> There's kids. always gonna be kids. It's Run always around. our kids. Everywhere we at is our kids there. <laughs> Running around getting into something, getting money for cupcakes on somebody else's table. You know, right. so definitely don't <laughs> use that as excuse as you know, well, I have kids or if, I don't care if your baby too. If you got a shirt that market your business, get your baby a, a onesie that market that business, and let your baby come. Like don't you know? Don't don't let that don't. Listen, no I just ordered masks. I just ordered masks for me, Kayla, and I ordered London one London mask with Kayla um, <laughs> logo on it and Princeton mask with my logo on it. So therefore, every time we walk out the door, you're gonna see our website going across our face. You know, the <laughs> reason why you should not know who we are, what we do. Cause all of us got him on, and you know, Prince to always catch everybody' attention. Cause he just, oh, he just so mm-hmm, read, read, read across the map. <laughs> Don't do my baby like that. That's my baby. That's my baby. <laughs> read That's the my baby. baby. Read the man. Yeah, so definitely, you know, like you say, network and don't be afraid. Just because somebody may not look like you, they may not know what you, they may not come from where you come from. That's okay. Network because you don't know who knows right. who. That's, you know, that's my motivation for the whole week. I'm done for the whole week. I'm, I'm booked for the Listen, whole week. Listen, he didn't gave a whole motivation speech on marketing <laughs> money. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so we about to wrap this up and end this. So if you are. If you are um, looking for a visionary, if you're looking for a workout partner, if you're looking for somebody to help you lose weight and get in shape, y'all contact Donella. Information will be on the screen um, at the end of the video and during the video. So you have no reason, unlike me, oh, to not lose weight, to not get in shape, and to not know your vision. And then I write it down, make it plain, and work it out.
That's the whole purpose. So I would like to thank everybody for tuning in to Marketing Mondays. And listen, y'all tune in every Monday, every Monday on SOMCZ Marketing and Events LLC YouTube channel. If you have not subscribed, go subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your friends and your more friends, tell your cousins, your aunties, your uncles, and everybody <laughs> to subscribe. We need a thousand subscribers. Listen, this is the way we're going to get your business. We're going to get get you out to the public. We're going to get you out to different areas. We're going to get you out to different cities, states, nationwide, worldwide. We're trying to get you out there. So if you would like to be on the show, contact me. My Facebook is Nakisha Adam Smith or S-O-M-C-Z. Or if you're not on Facebook and you're on Instagram, it's S-O-M-C-Z Marketing and Events with an S. Contact me and you will can get on the show. We do live. We do live recordings, but if you are in another state, which we do have some Atlanta, um, Atlanta radio hosts coming up. We have her coming up. Woo -woo. And listen, and we have, um, we just had a Columbia radio host. So if you're looking for different ways to advertise, you already know SOMCZ have a million ways, but we also now True Blue Radio in Columbia, a new radio station in Columbia. They have advertised. 30 seconds for, I think, $15. You can't yeah. beat it. You mm -hmm. can't beat it. So if you want to know more about that, then Tim of the 28th show. Go to back to Tim of the 28th show, and you'll be able to see Nakia Nesby. And then um, if you're looking, again, for somebody to help you with exercising, you're looking for somebody to help you with weight loss, you're looking for a visionary, contact Donella. She don't mind traveling. If you're looking for a motivational speaker at your events, contact her. And listen, let me check out y'all because my kids are about to get riled up. They say we have been on this thing too long. We've been recording too long. And guess what? That's real life. This is real life. So we know we got kids. So guess what? This is what happens. <laughs> so until next Monday, deuces.